Alright, hey there guys, what is up? So, we're picking up right where we left off and uh, jumping straight back into these fights. So I uh, died the last time I was here, if you saw that. But yeah, uh, look, I, I learned how to do the thing. I, I learned it. Yay! Oh, and yeah, uh, since this... Uh, since the channel seems to be getting a lot more views and stuff like that, I think I should probably start saying, uh, please hit the like button and please hit subscribe, you know, like even though I don't know which side of the spectrum you fall on, whether you find that annoying or what have you, but uh, yeah, you kind of have to say it because people say, oh, say it, or some people say, don't say it, like some, and like some people are like, no, don't bother me with that, but you know, it's like, I got a sticker. Look at my sticker. Oh yeah, so you can see I've 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 kind of improved. I was quite I was quite proud of that because now I know how to use the stances and stuff like that. And I also, if you noticed, I figured out that you could use the rocks to um, attract certain enemies, the ones that you intended to fight. So you just like uh, click on the rock and you throw the rock at the enemy, and then that's the enemy that'll attack you at that time uh, because you like hit them in the stone, obviously. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, over here I was just checking out like okay uh, exactly how do you do the drop attack again because I was trying to do the drop attack on these enemies right here but I just couldn't remember how to do it so yeah that's why I just went back like if you're ever wondering like this is this is why these notes are useful because when you play a lot of games you gotta like come back and reacclimate yourself with like the controls and it's it's a lot to remember if you're playing a lot of games you know so I tried it, but I don't think it worked out. See, I'm like, just making sure. <laughs> See, so it actually did work out, but not as effective as I hoped it would be. So, um, also at this point, um, I had pretty much memorized the whole village. So, like, there, there was a guy hiding inside that building. Um, if you just rewind the footage by, like, 20 seconds and you just look at that building, you'll see there's a guy hiding there. So, um, I just ignored him because you really don't have to... I guess you don't have to pick a fight every single time. If you can avoid a fight, I would suggest avoid it. Because, uh, yeah, your main aim is to try and stay alive, not to be a hero. But, yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to, um, over here, I was, just, I was trying to like figure out, okay, where are these guys? Because if you get too close, they'll notice you. So I was just trying to look and like see, okay, where's the one guy, where's the other guy, on which side are they, and how can I trigger one of them to come out, because if you remember the, a few episodes back, if you just look back through the playlist, or I'll link the video at the end with the little uh, title screen, uh, if you look at the, uh, the other episode, th there's two guys there on the left hand side, and one guy on the right hand side. Luckily, this first guy was the one that came out. Because he's a st he's a strong one. He he's a big boy. If you notice, he's like the same kind. He's wearing the same kind of armor 
as the guy that was standing here before this. And um, you'll see like even the killing strike when he's downed, it doesn't do a full amount of damage. But yeah, check out the rest of the fight. Man, that guy just like exploded and just burst out all of these beautiful, beautiful items. <laughs> items are super valuable in this game. Uh, you can't really sell them for um, money, but you can offer them for um, what this game's currency is, which is called Amrita. And that's how you level up your character. Um, it's basically like energy, I suppose. Like it's like power, energy, power, whatever you would go Oh, like you see, like, this is what I'm talking about. I triggered both of these guys, so this fight freaked me out. I mean, did you see that guy's attack? Like, I got so lucky that he, like, kind of fell there, but I was, like, tripping the whole time, like, holy crap, am I gonna be able to beat this guy? Because uh, I was in mid-stance, and I was like, okay, I got a fair amount of health, and a fair amount of key, so I should be able to, but then he blocks your attacks, like it's, ah, it's, it's hard, you know. But yeah, I did manage to get through and defeat him and get through to this next section. So I'd like, now I'm, now I'm paranoid, like every single corner could be <laughs> like a new enemy, so <laughs> I was like, okay, let's just take a little breather and let's, Let's see what we can do here, because I was like, should I fight, should I go forward or should I fight one of the revenants? <laughs> and so right here I'm looking inside and I can see, oh shit, it's that like boss fight shit. Like that's what the yokai is. Like the, the and like the uh, I, th I, th I don't think it's a yokai, I think it's a yoki. Yoki? I'm not sure how it's pronounced actually. But um I eventually nutted up and went around the corner and this guy wasn't so bad actually like he he had one of these uh, spears and it's kind of a long range weapon so if you get in close to him like that's why I was so confident because I just walked in with like the high stance and just started kicking his ass and I got my ass kicked like an idiot <laughs> so you see you gotta take it easy like uh, yeah anyway come back next time guys peace out